precise of medicine. In my opinion, is a new emerging approach of dealing with treatment and prevention, which will allow to um, answer questions like, will this treatment work on this patient, for example? Uh, in my opinion, precision medicine is uh, the way to take different treatment preventions based on individual patients' uh, clinic records, genes, or environments, or lifestyles, and so on. And then, in this case, we can achieve better treatment efficiency or reduce adverse effects. Machine learning, in general, provides efficient ways of analyzing large amounts of data. In the medical field, this could mean that monitoring at-risk patients can be done at a lower time cost to the clinicians, which would allow them to focus more on patient interaction. As a result, they could reach out to a larger amount of people and increase the amount of time spent with each individual. And there's vast amounts of medical data collected by most people uh, all around the world. Uh, so, for example, genetic data collected by biobanks or electronic health records filled in by your uh, doctor every time you visit them, or even your sports watch or fitness monitor collecting information about your sleeping patterns, your heart rate, your stress levels, and so on. We really need the help of machine learning algorithms sophisticated machine learning algorithms that can handle this vast amount of different kinds of medical data uh, to provide better, better healthcare decisions for everyone. The, my project aims to aid um, research in psychiatry in several ways using machine learning. We're working in developing software for understanding the behavior of animal models that we have that represent a given psychiatric disease, such as chronic stress or major depression. Moderated mental health disorders, such as mood disorders, depression and radiation, are heavily impacting people's quality of life. However, due to the complex and unstable nature of these disorders, the day-by-day -day tracking and analysis of them is a major challenge in mental health care. My project aims to develop machine learning approaches to model the evolution of these type of disorders from passively collected behavioral data from mobile phones and other wearable devices of patients. What is special about being an NFPM fellow is the fact that we have the possibility to easily develop international bonds, both on the friendship level and on the professional level, of course. I'm very grateful for being part of the MLFPM group. Um, it's a wonderful group of people that offer support all the time and that is full of experts, not only in your very a specific niche of expertise, but also in many related fields, which offers a ton of opportunities for collaboration as well. And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a privilege that you have to utilize wisely because all the conditions are set um, to, to do wonderful things. So yeah, I'm extremely excited about being part of this program and uh, super happy.